chat. Okay. Okay, thanks, Grace, for joining me. 4-2. Um, yeah. I don't really feel... Like, it was 2-1 at half-time. I think that, you know, you were in a lot more control than what the scoreline mm. suggested, would you say? Yeah, I think today we had a very young team. Obviously, this is the first time we're playing Arsenal in three games in a row, so um, we had to kind of rotate things a bit. And I think we had more chances in the first half that if we did put them work in the score, it could have been greater. Obviously, mm -hmm. they came out, was a lot more stronger the second half. But I think if we capitalised a little bit more on our chances in the first half, obviously, we'd have gone in a, in a better position when it set us up the second half, really. Mm -hmm. Do you think Arsenal weren't as clinical as they could have been in the first half? Because you almost sort of got away. I was, you was quite, I was quite surprised, on, in all honesty, to see that 2-1 two, two, one at half-time. Yeah. Two great goals, yeah. you know, oh, yeah, but like, no, do you yeah. know what I mean? It was like, I thought Arsenal had a lot more dominance mm. in the first half, but they weren't putting it away. Yeah, I think they had a few chances that maybe on a better day, they probably would have scored them. Um, mm -hmm. But I think we were quite lucky in that sense they didn't, and then we obviously capitalised on our chances. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's also I went in 2-1, but didn't quite stay that way. What do you think went wrong in the second half? Uh, I think, yeah, coming down to the fact we obviously had a younger team. Straight um, to the point, I'm yeah, sorry. No, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, no, I'm, sorry. No, I'm so no, abrupt. No, no, not at all. Like, we had two players a day, that, that was their first ever start. Um, they're 17, 18, they're in our academy, and I think for them, obviously they've been training hard and they got their just rewards. Our manager put faith in them and said, look, we're going to give you a chance, out you go. And I think maybe a little bit of inexperience showed, showed through today, that's probably mm -hmm. why. With a little bit more of an experienced team would have come up. I think they've done very, very well to come out here and play against what is the strongest team, I'd say, in the country, and they've done really well. But I think, obviously, hopefully, with our strongest team, the result could have, could have gone a different You've way. had a good start to the season. Yeah, yeah. You have. And I think we surprised a lot of people. Uh, we're often written off as a team. Um, mm -hmm. I think we've not just got the results, but we actually performed well. I think mm -hmm. as a team, we are showing a lot of positive signs. The things we're working on in training is coming out of the pitch. And I think that's really positive for us as a team because we're gelling together well and we're getting the results and hopefully that momentum can continue. What, what would you say are the differences between this season and last season in the squad? Um, I think obviously we've had a little bit of quality. We brought mm -hmm. Natalia up front who didn't play today. Um, mm -hmm. Also brought a Lucy Sanderfall in the middle. I think that's made a massive difference. Mm -hmm. um, I think just a little bit of quality. Um, but also I think the fact that we're quite a young team. Um, some people can view that in a negative light, but I think that's good because we're, we're hungry, we want to learn, we're passionate. And I think that shows mm -hmm. that we might not always get things right, but the desire there to learn and want to get better is showing through. And I think some people say that's a bad thing, but I think for us that works really, really well. <laughs> I'm noticing there's a lot more openness this season in the WSL. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It yeah, is. Yeah, it's yeah. not just Arsenal, Arsenal yeah. now. There's a lot more. Yeah, I know. You know what yeah, I mean? There's a lot more. Away. I think, yeah. Um, so the other day when Liverpool beat Arsenal 4-0, mm -hmm. when we heard that, we were all shocked. But that mm -hmm. shows that literally, I think whoever is on their game on a day can win. And like you said in previous years, like I played Arsenal about seven years ago, and I think we got mm -hmm. <laughs> beaten, to say the least. Mm -hmm. But I think now you can actually go into a game and you can come out with a victory if you play your best. So I think now that's it's a nice thing. So it makes the game more exciting. It makes the league more exciting. And it means that it potentially could be a different winner this year. Is the future bright for women's football, do you think? Yeah, I think definitely. I think with the, uh, like the bringing of the League 2 next year, obviously WSL 2, I think it's only going to okay. bring the game. I think um, it shows that there is a demand for it. And mm -hmm. uh, hopefully over the... As you go back three years now when the WSL started, mm -hmm. to say that we're where we are now is a massive improvement. And I believe that with the WSL 2 coming in, that is only going to keep on improving. OK. Well, listen, Grace, I'm lucky today. Oh, you know what I mean? It's been lovely meeting yeah, you. Thank and, you. And thanks for, like, taking the time out to speak to this random no, that's okay. guy on the touchline. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. But listen, uh, all the best for the rest of the season and beyond. Thank you. Thank you Take very care. much. Thank, thank you. you. I'll check it out. Yeah.